So tell me about the pain that you had before your surgery. The pain I had before, I had it in my back, in my hips, it was running down my leg, and my foot was somewhat numb. And how bad was it? On a scale of one to 10, it was usually about an eight. Did it keep you from doing things that you wanted to do? It kept me from doing everything. Okay. So nine months ago, we did a surgery, is that correct? That's correct. And we fused L3-4 and L4-5, and we made a small incision from the side and another one in the back. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how you feel today. Today, I feel like uh, I have no pain whatsoever. Everything is prior to any back injury. Are you happy with it? I'm completely happy, completely satisfied. Good. Would you do it again if you Indeed. had to? For sure. You know, there's a perception that by a lot of people that spine surgery doesn't work. I have heard that perception, and that might be the case for some people. But for myself, it was the it was the last straw, and it it I would do it again. I and be, before it. the surgery, we did try out almost everything. I else, tried right? all kinds of things. I've tried physical therapy, acupuncture, uh, chiropractic, spinal injections, uh, epidurals. Mm -hmm. I've tried all of that. So let's look at your X-rays. And what we've done here is we've done a fusion, and this is an intervertebral cage between the L3-4 disc space. This is a button on her shirt. This is a fusion mass at L4-5. And then these are little clips that hold it from the back. From the front, you can see we've taken out this disc, and we've put a disc spacer there a disc spacer here, and then these are what the cl clips look like when we're looking from the front to the back. They're really on the back of the spine on the spinous processes. All right, well, that's what we want our people to know about, and, and thank you for letting us take care of you, and I hope that this can help other people if they hear this video.